I'm Nicholas Tana, director and writer of Sticky, a documentary on masturbation. There's a plague infecting our nation. Symptoms may include blindness, weakness, madness, or worse, hairy palms. I'm going to play a little song that I wrote for the movie. Johnny didn't know She was horny and she wanted him Inside her making love But Johnny really wanted it To her that was a crime One day Susie told Johnny He spent far too much time Beating your meat and tugging your chain Bobbing your baloney, walking the snake Clean the pipes and lick your dog Joking the sheriff so the posse will come the jig's up. Everybody masturbates. Sticky the Movie is the uh, world's first feature documentary on masturbation. Is there a safer form of sex? Not really. Unless you're lighting yourself on fire while you're doing it. It covers subject from every every possible angle, from the, the politics of it. Do Americans have the right to life, liberty, and sex toys? No, says a federal appeals court in Alabama regarding those last items. Our love hate with sexuality, the history. The history of masturbation goes back to when man first was created, I guess. I actually started quite some time ago when a uh, cousin of mine who works in education said to me that a 12 year old student approached her and asked if he could get herpes masturbating. There's so many myths and fear based information being spread about masturbation and it started many years ago and so I really wanted to know what is this touchy relationship we have with ourselves. Amongst the things I discovered was that uh, the major religions vary as to whether it's a sin or not. There are no circumstances under which we can condone masturbation. It's always wrong. If God didn't want us to masturbate, he would have made our arms shorter. You've also been interviewing people who have some sort of obsession with masturbation, is that right? Absolutely. There's people that masturbate quite extensively. A number of times I've, I've wanted to see if I could do it 20 times a day and, and could. What was the attitude in your household growing up surrounding sex and masturbation? We didn't talk about it. It was really not mentioned. And in fact, to this day, when, it, when my family found out I was doing a documentary on masturbation, it was my uncle who came up to me. And we're very Italian, New York, New Jersey family. And he walks up and he's like, hey, Nikki, what's this I hear? You doing a jerk-off movie? <laughs> I'm like, no, not exactly, Uncle Moreno, but yes, I am doing a movie about jerking off. I think almost every instance of masturbation in movies has been displayed as something that's grotesque and that's something that someone would be embarrassed to be caught doing. I think we need to start talking. I think we need to talk about what makes us afraid and, and understand why. And uh, maybe there's some legitimate fears. There are some risks to sexual compulsion. There is some risk to letting one's desires run amok, I think, personally. Call me conservative. But I think there can be something like going too far. I think with pornography out there, there's all kinds of fears now of sexual ADD and sexual dysfunction in men related to the fact that they can't, uh, they can't replicate the experience of, of having sex in their minds with airbrushed images of unattainable women <laughs> at a pace that no women can keep up with. <laughs> you know, they're stimulating themselves at a rapid pace and, and to these unattainable images and it's just, it's, it could be offsetting their sense of reality and their ability to have real intimacy with sexual intercourse. And so there are some risks. So I don't want to say it's, it's, there's no risk. In fact, masturbation can be masking deeper emotional problems. And if that's the case, then it becomes a fix. Dialogue, you know, understanding, seek and you shall find. Any final parting words? Um, the future of masturbation is in your hands.